So as a photographer, I feel like it's important to have multiple streams of income. And believe it or not, it's a lot of different ways that you can make money as a photographer besides just shooting clients. In the past eight months, I've made close to $5,000 doing some of the stuff that I'm going to mention in this video. And this is without shooting clients. So let's get into five ways to make money as a photographer without shooting clients. Let's talk about it. What's going on, fam? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, my name is A-Train. I post photography tips and I also talk about the business side of photography. So if you're interested in that type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Coming in at number one, I have YouTube. And I know before you write this off, I know some of you may be thinking, I am not doing YouTube. I'm not cut out to do YouTube. I just don't want to do YouTube. But you may reconsider giving YouTube a try after you hear what I have to say. So a little backstory about me. I've been on YouTube since 2016 and I have three channels and two of those channels are monetized. So I'm making money from those channels. I have a lot of experience when it comes to YouTube and I know exactly how YouTube works. And YouTube is, I think, one of the largest search engines. People are going to YouTube every day searching for things. Like you've probably searched for this video, how to make money with photography. So as you can see, like the potential of, you know, people finding your content and getting views, which can lead to money and other things that I'm gonna mention later is, it's, it's honestly crazy with YouTube. You can legit build a side business from YouTube. So once you build up your YouTube channel and you have an audience, then you reach those requirements that I talked about. So you'll start making some money from ads, but it's also so many other ways that you can make money from YouTube. You can sell digital products. I'm um, just, you know, whatever you're trying to sell and, and maybe you just want to bring traffic to something that you have to offer, you know, somewhere else you can do that with YouTube. So the possibilities of just you know, different hustles that you can create with YouTube is it's endless. The possibilities are endless. It's so many different things that you can do. And I know you may be saying to yourself, like, I don't know what to start a channel about. Like, I don't have any passion. I just don't know what to talk about on my channel. And it really comes down to just, you know, find something that you love and just share it with the world. Like, that's what I do with this channel right here. I love photography and I love helping people. So I'm just sharing my knowledge and that's all you have to do on YouTube is just, you know, share your knowledge and if you're good at it and people respond to it, then you can legit build a business and make a good amount of income from YouTube. So before I get into number two, I have a quick question for y'all. I wanna know how are you making money with photography? What are some different things that you are doing to make money? Are you doing video? Are you doing different types of photography? Are you selling some type of education? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, so coming in at number two, I have affiliate marketing. You're gonna see with a lot of things that I mentioned that they tie into the YouTube channel. So it's just ways that you can make money from having a YouTube channel. Like I was saying earlier, it's so many different ways. So once you build up the channel, you can start to implement things like affiliate marketing and other things to bring in more income. For those of you who don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's pretty much getting a commission for recommending products and services to your audience. So this is something that you all see me do on the channel where I'll mention different services and products. And for some of those, I get a commission because I'm an affiliate. When you hear me say things like, check the links in the description, some of those links in the description are affiliate links. When someone clicks on one of those links and they purchase something, then I get a commission based off the percentage that that affiliate program does. So a program that I recommend y'all sign up to if you want to do affiliate marketing is the Amazon affiliate program. It's very easy to sign up. And I think in your first month, I think you have to generate at least three sales. If you don't, then they will kick you out the program, but you can just sign up again. So, um, you know, I think I got kicked out the program a couple of times when I first started because I started too early and I didn't have enough traffic coming into those links. So I wasn't getting enough views to generate enough traffic to my links. So I wasn't really, you know, people weren't really clicking on those links and purchasing things. But as my channel started to pick up, as I started to get more subscribers and generate more views, then I started getting thousands of link clicks every single month. Um, I think I'm averaging right now about 4,000, 3,000 or 4,000 um, clicks per month. So that's like I was saying earlier, that's a lot of traffic and most of that traffic is coming from my YouTube channel. Listen up y'all do not sleep on affiliate marketing and you do not have to have a YouTube channel for this. You could, you know, start a blog and link stuff in your blog or you could just promote stuff on Instagram 
or maybe you have a Facebook page. So don't think that you have to have a YouTube channel for this, but I think when you pair this with a YouTube channel and your channel is growing and you're just getting a lot of views and subscribers, then this is very, very powerful. And lastly, when you do affiliate marketing, just recommend products and services that you believe in and that you actually use. I know some people out here, they just recommend stuff, but they don't, you know, they just maybe just do it to get paid or they don't really use it. Like everything that I talk about, I actually use those products. I love those products. And I think it would be a disservice to my audience not to let y'all know about those products. So just be honest and recommend stuff that you actually use and actually love when it comes to affiliate marketing. Because if you don't, you can lose the trust of your audience. And if you lose the trust of your audience, then nobody's going to support you by clicking on your affiliate link. All right, y'all. So moving on to number three, and that is to offer some type of service or product. So just to give you all an example, I offer a website review and I also offer coaching to photographers that just want more help when it comes to marketing, um, you know, lighting, whatever it may be. And then as far as my product, I have the photography business starter kit, which if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. So that's a product that I created that I thought my audience would be interested in. And it's something that I can make money off of. And when it comes to selling a service or a product, you know, for a lot of people, it really takes a mindset shift. And when I first started, I used to think, you know, that wasn't something I could do because I didn't believe in myself and I didn't feel like I could, you know, offer value to people. So I was just kind of kind of having imposter imposter syndrome. And that's what a lot of people have. They just don't think that they have something to offer people or they don't think that they're good enough to offer something to people. So get that out your head right now. If you're a photographer, you probably have something that you're really good at and you don't have to be an expert to sell a product or a service. You just need to know more than the beginner, you know, just be a step ahead above other people. So stop thinking that you have to know everything and be, uh, you know, have 12 years of experience and be the best photographer to do stuff like this. Cause I'm not the best photographer. I don't know everything, but I do, have certain knowledge when it comes to marketing, the business side of photography, and as far as the technical skills, flash photography. So these are different services and products that I can create and sell to my audience and you can do the same. All right, y'all, so coming in at number four and that is to edit for other photographers. Now, I think this is a great way to make money being a photographer. Um, you know, I actually use an editing service myself called Photographers Edit and I'm paying them a good amount of money to edit my photos. And I was just thinking to myself one day, like if I'm paying them this much and they have this many clients, they are making a crazy amount of money. And this is something that I've thought about doing. I haven't actually done this because I used to love editing, but the longer I did it, I kind of started to hate it a little bit. Um, that's kind of why I started outsourcing to mainly to free up time, but I just don't enjoy it as much as I used to. But if you love editing, and I feel like it's one of those skills that you can build up pretty quick just by watching videos on YouTube or just getting some kind of course. So once you build that skill, this can be a service that you can offer other photographers. So yeah, it's a lot of photographers that would love an editor. Uh, like I said, I think it's a easy skill to build. Um, once you build it, just put it on your social media. Just talk about it, put it out there like, hey, any photographers out here need an editor, just DM me or email me wherever. It's really that simple. I feel like a lot of this stuff, we just kind of complicate it. It's really just a matter of building a skill or just something that you have knowledge in and then putting it out there to the world. And it's that simple. All right, y'all. So the last tip I have for y'all, this is a good one. So make sure you do not click off this video. And that is to offer freelancing services. So what I mean by that is this can really be anything. It's a lot of different, you know, things you can do when it comes to freelancing, you know, as far as you could be a copywriter, you could do uh, social media ads, you can um, be a social media manager, um, a video editor. So it's as you can see, it's a lot of different things you can do. And the thing with this is, you know, being a photographer, you're going to develop a lot of different skills when it comes to marketing. You know, maybe you're giving slideshows to your clients. So, you know, a little bit about video editing or maybe you're running ads. Now you can run them for other people. So as you can see, with more experience that you gain, you're going to develop new skills. And these are skills that you can monetize and offer to people. It doesn't even have to be photography. For example, I offer on Fiverr. I recommend using Fiverr or Upwork if you want to do freelancing services. But something that I offer is a YouTube channel review. 
because I have a lot of experience with YouTube. So y'all, I highly recommend, you know, just writing down a list of skills you have, or maybe just things that you love to do, or maybe even skills that you want to develop. And then once you start doing that, I would start, you know, applying to these websites and offering different freelancing services to other people. If you're a beginner photographer and you're watching this video, then you're not trying to make, you know, 20 K the big bucks yet. You're just trying to make, you know, like your first $1,000. And I actually have a video about that on my channel. It's a lot of good information. I'm going to link that video in the card. Always point the wrong way in the card up top. So check out that video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week. I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.